This video will show you how your Intuos Pro pen tablets map to your screen. By mapping, we mean matching up the placement of your pen on the tablet and where your cursor appears on the display. Some people like to change the mapping on their tablet because it makes it easier to perform certain functions. For instance, left-handed users will want to change the orientation of the express keys. If you're using an extended desktop on two monitors, you might want to force proportions to proportionally map the tablet to the whole desktop area. Finally, you might just want to change the effective size of your tablet's active area for faster navigation. By default, the entire active area of the tablet, marked by the lighted corners, maps to the entire display area. So if I put my pen in the upper left-hand corner of the tablet, you can see that the cursor jumps to the corresponding corner of the screen. The easiest way to change mapping on your tablet is to open the control panel by pressing the Show Settings Express key which is the second from the top by default, and then selecting the Pen Properties button. You can also access the control panel on a Mac by going to your Apple menu, System Preferences, Wacom Tablet, or on a PC by selecting Start, Programs, Wacom Tablet, Wacom Tablet Properties. On Windows 8, you'll find it in your control panels. Now you'll see some tabs and tools that allow you to customize your pen and tablet. Click the Mapping tab. In the upper right, the first control menu you'll see is Orientation. This allows you to change the orientation of your tablet. By default, the express keys will be on the left side of the tablet. This will be the ideal configuration for right-handed users because the right hand will hold the pen and your left, or non-dominant hand, will have the express keys easily available. The default settings for the orientation will read Express Keys Left. If you're left-handed, choose Express Keys Right and you'll want to physically rotate the tablet 180 degrees. Now let's look at the way your pen maps to the screen. Depending on your preferred work environment, you can map your tablet in different ways, but the default settings should work for most users. Screen area defines the four corners of the display area that your pen will be able to reach based on the four corners of the active area of the tablet. To change this, select the screen area to which you want your pen tablet to map. In some cases, this is just one monitor, but in most cases, you'll want to leave this just set to full. Under the tablet area, you can designate what part of the tablet maps to your screen area. Some people will have the whole tablet active in graphic applications, but reduce the active area for easy navigation on their desktop. The tablet automatically defaults to mapping your whole tablet area to your entire display area. Finally, you'll see a Force Proportions checkbox. This guarantees that when you draw a circle on the tablet, it maps to a circle on the screen. When checked, this looks at the screen area, uses its proportions to create a proportional tablet area. In a wide display environment, like two displays, you can see your active tablet area becomes much wider than it is tall. Coming to terms with the pen's behavior can take a day or two, but if you use only your pen for just a couple days, it will become faster than a mouse could ever be. If you have additional questions, please view our training webinars and videos at Wacom.com or YouTube.com slash Wacom.